Hello, this is MakeYourJane1, and I now have 100,000 views. So, thank you very much for watching my videos and um, subscribing and just being interested in things that I'm interested in. Um, if you like my videos, you may subscribe if you like to. Um, so, yeah, like, yeah, just keep posting um, helpful comments. That really helps a lot. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, well, all right, enough blabbing. All right, let's get on with destroying this computer. So here's the motherboard of it. Um, this computer, I made a video of it, and you guys told me how to destroy it. A few people said that 12 volts on the 5 volts wasn't quite enough, so I decided to go for the Variac instead. Um, so the Variac power comes right into here, this rectifier diode, and then that goes into the 5 volts. Um, so that should work pretty good. And that goes into the 5 volts of this floppy drive and the hard drive, too. So those should burn out, too. Um, I'm not going to exactly destroy it, like hit it with a sledgehammer, because I don't really want to, um, because I still want the gold pins and everything like that, and I still want, like, yeah, so, um, so yeah, but I will destroy the case with probably a sledgehammer, um, so you'll see that in a bit. Um, so I have, before, I, I haven't, I don't know what it's going to do yet, um, I did try twice already, but both times it, um, blew the... Uh, ground fault protection. Um, so I think that's because the power from the Variac is going straight from the 120 volts. Well, kind of. Um, it's not isolated. Like this transformer isolates it, kind of. Um, so the power is going back through here and then going to ground. All right. So I was just able to. Um, I just hot wired the uh, power supply to um, stay on. So that's the actual computer's power supply, which is over there. So now I'm going to plug in the Variac, and we'll see what we get. Get a little bit more voltage there. Oh, the hard drive just started up. So it seems like it's doing something. Hit the power button and see what that does. Um, it doesn't sound like it's doing too much. I'll just crank it up. Oh, there's a little sizzling. The hard drive is groaning a little bit. The capacitor's still glowing. All right, so the Variac just isn't supplying enough amps, and the short out voltage is about two volts. So we should be able to hook it up to a 12 volt battery. And we'll see what that does. So got my 12 volt battery here. Oh, look at that! It's red smoke. Wow. Uh, the wire is kind of a. Uh, Definitely drawing a lot of amps. That's probably enough. So it's like a dead short, pretty much. All right, well, I don't really think it's gonna do much more. I think it's about fried. Um, so the next step is to smash the casing. Hope you found that interesting. Um, so yeah. All right, the next step is to destroy the casing. And to do that, I'm going to need a photonic induction style hammer. And I'm gonna do this in, I think, 120 frames per second.
All right, so that's very destroyed. This hammer definitely did the job. Um, so yeah, um, so I think now I'm gonna blow up a few of those little lithium coin cell memory batteries. So that should be fun. Whoa, that was a good one. Okay, so here's one that already has a bit of a hole in it, but we'll see if we can get any more explosions out of it. real nice and it blew the fuse of the variac again All right, well, this is what you get when you um, hook lithium batteries up to a Variac. Some of them explode, and the two end caps fly off. And then other ones, they just kind of spark and such in one spot. It's kind of crazy. I like them. So, yeah. Some of you might also be wondering how I have so many fuses. Well, I don't really. I'm just using... Uh, let me unplug my Variac. Um, I just take this... There's a little fuse holder here, and I just put pieces of wire in there like this. And these pieces of wire, they usually um, blow at about 15 amps, so it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for subscribing, and um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.